Darlington Nuclear Station is getting a refurbishment to ensure 30 more years of clean, reliable energy. It's Canada's largest clean energy project and is relying on thousands of highly skilled workers and precision manufacturers from across Ontario. Darlington has four units that together produce about 20% of Ontario's power. The station will remain operating during refurbishment, but each unit will be taken offline one at a time for about 40 months to be safely rebuilt. Here are the six steps involved. For each reactor, we create a precise work area by safely isolating it from the operating plant, disconnecting equipment, and putting physical barriers in place. Each reactor has 480 fuel channels, extending through a vessel called a calandria. Each fuel channel assembly is made up of a calandria tube, a pressure tube, and end fittings on either side. Each of these are connected by a network of feeder pipes, which links the reactor to the steam generators. Once the unit is isolated, the fuel bundles can be safely removed. Next, the heavy water, which is used to sustain the nuclear reaction, is drained from the calandria and is safely stored until the reactor is returned to service. Then, airlocks are opened to allow people and materials access, and a special 100-ton retubing and tooling platform is installed. This will be the work hub for about two years, where workers with highly specialized tools will remove components and reassemble the reactor. Now the disassembly of the reactor can begin. The 960 feeder pipes are cut away and the end fittings, pressure tubes and calandria tubes are removed. The material removed from the calandria will be volume reduced and safely stored in licensed waste storage facilities on site. When all of the parts are removed, the reactor is then thoroughly inspected. Now the job of rebuilding begins. New calandria tubes are inserted in the reactor vessel, followed by pressure tubes and end fittings. Then the feeder pipes are installed to reconnect the reactor to the rest of the systems. At each stage, there are rigorous inspections to ensure the work complies with the designs and stringent regulatory requirements. The reactor is now ready to be loaded with new fuel and the original heavy water, now filtered and purified, is also pumped back into the calandria. Now that the reactor is fully assembled, the power is gradually raised while numerous safety checks are conducted before returning to full power. Once reconnected to the grid, the Darlington reactor will be capable of producing safe, reliable, clean electricity for another 30 years.